section 5.5 power method and inverse power method for eigenvalues. The power method is an iterative algorithm given a square metric A. The algorithm finds a number lambda, which is the largest eigenvalue of A and its corresponding eigenvector V. To apply the power method, we need to assume that A has these properties. A has n eigenvectors, lambda 1 to lambda n. Uh, A has n corresponding eigenvectors, v1 to vn, which are linearly independent. A has ejected one eigenvalue that is largest in magnitude. Once we order the eigenvalues in modulus, then an absolute value of lambda 1 must be strictly larger than uh, the second largest eigenvalue in modulus. That is required. And also, uh, this um, condition is also uh, required very seriously. A should have n linearly independent eigenvectors. Then the power method approximates the largest eigenvalue lambda 1 and its corresponding eigenvector v1. Let's derive the power iteration. We assumed that A has n linearly independent eigenvectors. So these eigenvectors will form a basis. And therefore, for any vector x, uh, it can be expressed as a linear combination of the eigenvectors. For some constants, beta 1 to beta n, now we multiply a, ax. Now a will be multiplied to vj, so a vj. That is same as lambda j vj. If we multiply one more time a, then here a vj, which will be lambda j vj, so we reach at this term. In general, after k multiplication of a, we have that once we factor out lambda 1 to the k, then uh, here for this term, we change in this way. In detail, we can see in this way, now lambda 1 to the k, beta 1, and this will be 1, and v1. Now from second one, now lambda 2 over lambda 1 to the k, and third one will be lambda 3 over lambda 1 to the k, and last one is given in this way. Now also we assumed that lambda 1 is strictly larger than uh, lambda 2 and the other eigenvalues are not larger than that. So for j is from 2 to n, uh, these are strictly less than 1 so that for these terms as k increases, uh, they will converge to 0. So here we have conclusion a to the kx as k approaches infinity uh, that is same as here lambda 1 to the k beta 1 v1 now the same limit okay this to this one will converge to 0 and this is 1 so that here we take a limit only here, lambda 1 to the k, beta 1, v1. That is exactly this one. Okay. Uh, 
the sequence in this equation converges to zero if lambda 1 in modulus is less than 1, so it will become 0. And if it is larger than 1, then it will diverge. Uh, in either case, it's hard to decide the largest eigenvalue lambda 1 and its corresponding eigenvector v1 because it's either converged to 0 or uh, converged to uh, infinity diverges. So to take care of that possibility, we scale the h to kx in an appropriate manner uh, to ensure that the limit in this equation is finite and non-zero is converging to uh, uh, some finite terms. So that is the power iteration. We uh, start with um, a vector x, and now for that non-zero vector, and x0 is scaled so that its maximum norm will be 1. Now, in each iteration, we multiply a, and we save the multiplication into a temporary vector and measure uh, the maximum norm and scale uh, the temporary vector by mu k to get the new vector x. Now we keep going, then we have this conclusion and mu k, okay, x k mu k, uh, a sequence produced by the power method here, then x k is converting to v1, and mu k converges to absolute value of lambda 1. More precisely, the power method converges as in this equation, mu k is converting to lambda 1, with this error it now is reducing in this range. Okay, let's go back to uh, this line. And okay, here that is converging. And once uh, the absolute value of this uh, eigenvalues are uh, smaller and smaller, smaller over there, then. Uh, these later terms will converge much faster so that the error, uh, that portion is the dominant uh, error. So that here we can see here uh, the, in error, this is the dominant one. So we may uh, write down in this way. Okay. Okay, here we have an example. A is given and it has eigenvalues and eigenvectors as follows. By using the command in MATLAB, we can find it quite easily. And eigenvalues are 931. For 9, uh, this is the corresponding eigenvector. For 3, that one. And that for minus 1, this is the eigenvector. Verify that the sequence produced by the power method converges to the largest eigenvalue and its associated eigenvector. The algorithm is implemented in both MATLAB and Python. Let's see this uh, MATLAB um, algorithm. That portion is for A definition. By using built-in function EIG, we found there is an uh, eigenvector, and there is uh, a diagonal matrix having eigenvalues. So by using the command uh, diag, we can collect all the eigenvalues uh, from the diagonal of D. And for eigenvalues, we uh, try to uh, order in 
from largest to smallest, and that's index. So we use the index, and the same index is used to, to order the change the eigen vectors in the same way. So now v is ordered here. Okay. Now we scale so that um, maximum value in modulus in eigenvectors uh, will be one with this scaling. So this is related with uh, the true and uh, true eigenvalues and true eigenvectors. Now uh, from here we'll try to compute the largest eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. Start with 100. Zero, zero. This is a format for print and we'll do 10 iterations. First we multiply x to get y and we try to find the, the position where the largest value in modulus occurs and we assign mu from uh, the temporal array y and we scale y by mu to get u vector. So that is the power iteration. In Python is almost the same. Here we are using the package numpy and we choose option such that the printout uh, will be suppressed then. And that means that, for example, it's one zero 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 zero. Then with this option, the printout will be one dot. Okay. Now we define A and the numpy sub package linear algebra is used and the function EIG uh, is producing eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Now that is um, our project for MATLAB. The first one is eigenvector and the second is, is eigenvalues. Now that one is the first one is eigenvalues and second one is eigenvectors. Okay. Now we sort the uh, eigenvalues uh, and descend so that along with the index we uh, sort the eigenvalues and again same way we sort the eigenvectors and again scale uh, so that um, the maximum value in modulus will be 1 in eigenvectors. Okay. Uh, that is uh, for true eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And here, uh, this is the power iteration. We'll do just 10 iteration. Now, X, A is multiplied. Mm here to x and save into a temporary vector and again we find the the position where the largest value occurs and we take a mu from the position and scale the temporary vector to get u1 and print out and here error is measured from the first eigenvalue. Now, once to uh, program the the uh, programs are uh, run, then you can see the result the same. Here is the output from the MATLAB code. These are eigenvalues, and these are eigenvectors. And after ten iteration, um, here you can get you know, good convergence for mu values. It is converging to now the largest eigenvalue and error that is now reducing in this way. Uh, for the example, 
lambda 1 is 9, lambda 2 is 3, so that that must be one third. Here, the error uh, must be one third reduced in each iteration, ideally. So let's see uh, if it is happening. Okay, that is about three times. It's about three times larger, and again, about three times larger. So it is working uh, like the theory. Okay. The inverse power method. Some applications require to find an IM value uh, near a prescribed value Q. The inverse power method is a variant of the power method to solve such a problem. Okay, let's try to uh, drive the inverse power method. We start with uh, uh, this one and lambda i, v i r eigenvalue, eigenvector pair for the metric A. Now, in, if we mm, here subtract q i, then the corresponding eigenvalue must be shifted by q. And here we apply uh, that metric inverse this side and this purple of this number, then we reach at this one. That means once q is uh, none of the eigenvalues of A, then uh, eigenvalues of this metric is this one. So that 1 over lambda 1 minus Q, 1 over lambda Q minus uh, lambda 2 minus Q, and so on. These are eigenvalues of A minus QI inverse. Now, we'll use this metric um, with a power iteration. That's the inverse power method. Okay, let's see here. But anyway, uh, the eigenvectors are the same uh, as those of A. Okay? This is the power, inverse power method. Okay, now for given x non-zero, okay, x zero must be yeah, scaled along with um, x uh, infinity norm. Okay, that is x zero. Now we multiply the inverse of a minus q i to x to get new uh, uh, temporary vector, and we measure its magnitude and scale the temporary vector to get u1. Here, mu k, mu k from power method, uh, we know that mu k is converging to uh, the largest eigenvalue of that metric. So among these values, the mu k will converge to the largest value. So eventually, here mu k, uh, okay, mu k will converge to uh, one of this. So one of uh, some, um, okay, let's say lambda uh, minus q. Then we can solve for lambda. Uh, we first uh, set equal, then now, lambda minus q is the same as here 1 over mu k. Now, uh, so that from here, lambda is 1 over mu k plus q. Mu k is an approach to an eigenvalue of that one. Now, lambda k, this lambda value, will approach to 1 over uh, eigenvector of A. So it is A, but uh, that one is for this metric, there's eigenvalue. Okay? So 
that's uh, the line to recover eigenvalue of A. Okay. Uh, the power method and the inverse power method it, uh, uh, can get only one single eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. All eigenvalues of a sphere metric can be found simultaneously by applying some advanced algorithm. For example, the QR iteration. We'll see this uh, method uh, later on. The inverse power method are also implemented in both MATLAB and Python for the same metric. And we'll try to find uh, an eigenvalue of A nearest to Q is 4, so that here the eigenvalues are 9 and 3 and minus 1, so that that will be found. Okay, okay here this portion is the same as um, the original power method. Now here, and along with the same um, initial x, now q is 4, and inverse of a minus qi is saved into b, and here b is multiplied to x to get a temporary vector, and we try to find the position where the maximum occurs and we get the value mu and scale y by mu to get new vector. Mu is converting to an eigenvalue of b. Now lambda is converting to an eigenvalue of a. Now we print out the difference between the second um, eigenvalue and lambda that we'll see the difference. Okay, for Python, also this portion is the same as the original power method. And Q is 4 and X is now the same, uh, 1, 0, 0. And we save um, the inverse of a minus qi into b by using uh, this function from a sub package of numP uh, linear algebra. Now again we do 10 iterations. First multiply b and now get a temporary vector and we try to find the maximum position and we get mu and scale the temporary vector to get ux. Now we'll try to recover the eigenvalue of a. Mu is converting to an eigenvalue of b, and lambda is converting to an eigenvalue of a. The same way. Now uh, we'll try to print out the convergence uh, with the error now the second eigenvalue and the lambda difference. Okay, in Python, lambda along with uh, little l, lambda is a special function, so you cannot use it as a parameter. So I used it here capital L. Okay. Okay. Now for inverse power method, uh, we run the Python program. Okay, this is eigenvalue sorted and corresponding eigenvectors. And these are inverse power iteration uh, 0 to 9. So we have 10 iterations. Uh, now it is converting to 3 uh, very nicely. And error is reduced a little bit faster uh, than uh, the power method. Yeah, once Q is 4, then eigenvalues of A minus QI inverse are 
one fifth minus one and minus one over five so that uh, lambda one mm, mm, over lambda two and in modulus must be a five so the error must be reduced by a factor of five let's see if it is uh, happening okay this is about five times larger about five times again about five times so it runs as uh, the theory says so the convergence is really um, as the theory uh, uh, requires okay once you choose q as a 3.1 so then nearer to uh, the eigenvalue and the eigenvalue of a is again here 9 and 3 and 1 okay it's minus 1 so earlier we choose q is now 4 now again q is chosen to be 3.1 so that this number is nearer to 3 in this case now it's converting to 3 much, pass, much faster so here now error is reduced uh, uh, quite rapidly yeah, it looks like about um, six times okay it's about 60 times reduced uh, so it is uh, converting much faster in exercise uh, 5.8 you will analyze the convergent behavior okay that's the end of the section thank you